very interesting scientist. So discovering and optimizing your personal system biology. So data-driven health. Uh, so you could be healthy on the inside or on the outside, but what's going on on the uh, inside? So 20th, 20th century is going to be known historically as the century of reductionism. The most successful science in history so far has been chemistry. It's all about that little, you know, each individual molecule, right? Uh, and that's pretty good. I mean, in fact, that's how a lot of things were designed. You had medicine, idea that if you took everything apart, you'd find the bad part. Even in fitness, right? The guy's doing the biceps uh, and nothing else, totally destroying their uh, muscular chain of movement. But that, that's kind of how fitness was. And we've gotten a lot smarter about that, right? We recruit m multiple muscle groups. It's all about systems. So 21st century, um, do I need to lean like this, uh, tw is system biology. So as I was saying, everything, you're, you're a factory. You have DNA, which is your master plan. You have RNA, which is actually the instructions. It's kind of like you have an architect who gives your contractor a set of instructions on a daily basis to go out and do protein expression or build your proteins. So it stands to reason everything that comes in your body uh, gets used for that process. So being really smart about uh, what you eat, where you live, what you breathe in, uh, filtering your water, all that stuff, not to make it something that destroys your life with too much uh, OCD activity, but it's uh, something to be aware of. It's all environmental, nutrition, lifestyle. So exercise, where you live, what you eat, sleep, happy, sad, stress, all that stuff. And this is a continuous process. And then the way you can measure it is what they call the metabolic response. There's something like 40,000 metabolites running around your body that are the, the chemical foot fingerprints of what's been going on. What's that all mean for us? Well, it's a golden age of measurement. So Lord Kelvin famously said in 1889, you cannot change what you don't measure. Okay, so if you can't measure this stuff, you know, why even know it? Well, fortunately for us, the last 10 years historically, when we look back in coming decades, it's gonna be known as the golden age of diagnostics and measurement. And what's happening is the volume of information that you can measure about yourself is incrementally going up, and the cost is actually dropping uh, even faster than Moore's Law. So it's a huge time to do it. What's interesting is 70% of the data, I'll read this because uh, of the light, that you need for accurate diagnosis and health is contained in your blood chemistry. So kind of interesting, right? And this is an interesting one here too, and I'll read this. 1990, as a consumer, you were super smart if you knew what your total cholesterol number. And then 10 years later, bad cholesterol, good cholesterol. I need a lot of the good, I need to keep the bad down. Country and Western. Um, advanced fractions. What we've now discovered is uh, these two bad and good cholesterols each have about seven subfractions that each of them are important for your heart health. In fact, half the people who walk into ER in America come in, uh, they'll run the standard old panel. They'll be completely green. They look really clean, but they've been walking around with a time bomb for 20 years uh, you know, because of that. So lots of information. There's other things. For example, 75% of US adults uh, have low levels of vitamin D that aren't optimal. And this is being seen as a super hormone now. It can really jack up your performance. Uh, here's the heart attack stat. One in 10 people have a thyroid issue. Uh, I, I'm actually one of those folks. So just tweaking my thyroid a little bit up my athletic performance, I think, by about 5% in the past year. Uh, 30 45% of female endurance athletes are iron deficient. We could go down a whole list of things. So what's, uh, what's the implications of all this? Well, Stanford Anti-Aging Clinic, they have this really awesome curve. This thing's super famous. It's all about which uh, swim lane you choose. So decisions that you make on a yearly basis either upregulate or downrate your biology. And so as you go out here, uh, as you get older, then your quality of health goes until you actually die. And so medical science has moved this part of the curve, age, out. But we haven't populated this part of the curve. So the idea and the goal for all of us should be, let's jump a swim lane, let the swim lane, let's move on out here. And this whole curve is called rectangularizing your aging. So my goal is to be 100, 150 years old, and the last week of my life had a complete system failure and just collapse and die. So, uh, you know. <laughs> you know, I, I don't want to linger that much longer. So we should all aspire to, to, to die of being worn out, right? 
So the other part, uh, I stole this from CrossFit. Um, this is the famous Greg Glassman sickness, wellness, fitness continuum, is most of America is focused on just getting here. So what's a biomarker? Biomarker is not just blood chemistry. Biomarker could say, I have 10% body fat. Uh, my blood pressure is this. So those are all kind of markers that are biology oriented they can measure. So our goal actually should be from wellness to fitness continuum. So sickness for blood pressure maybe is uh, 220 over 160. Wellness would be 120 over 70. Fitness is probably about a 105 over 62. So let's talk about the resources that you have right now to kind of access this. Um, and obviously, you know the punchline on this, but uh, it, it is interesting when you think about healthcare in America. It, it's kind of, a friend of mine calls healthcare islands of clinical excellence surrounded by the DMV. So you, you basically, um, you go into this, it's really kind of crappy consumer environment. This is a diagnostic test. If you see, it looks like code. 90% of diagnostic tests you don't, that are run on you, you don't see. If you do, you ask the doctor and say, ah, I didn't see anything, or I want you to do, maybe follow uh, this protocol. But let, let's imagine that you had this info. So trends usually start when you're still in the green, right? So when you get here, wouldn't we all want to say, have a, a, an alarm jump up when we start getting into kind of yellow territory saying, you know what, your trend sucks. You're, you're kind of on a downward trajectory. The way it works right now is, uh, you know, current healthcare system only gets excited when you venture into red territory, what's called pathology. In fact, the definition of the FDA of health is an absence of pathology. So it means if you're not sick, you're healthy. But with me, I've always thought, um, I don't want to get here, get arrested, and then move the curve up, but not a lot, because a lot of times already the damage is done. I'd love to have an early warning system that the point I is here, it says time to get going. Let's move it on up. So that's our strategy as a company. Uh, we provide an integrated solution. Our goal is that you should have top, uh, access to top-notch talent, uh, biomarkers that make a difference that your talent can uh, interpret. And so the way our system works, you create an account, uh, you, we arrange for a blood draw. Either you can go into a lab core, show a barcode, uh, get drawn there, or um, there's going to be a draw here, I believe. Um, and so organize the draw here, and you get tested. When your results come in, your account immediately comes up. You have an email that says, look at my results, uh, or look at your results they're in. And it's time to pick who you want to have as your team around your data. So you can have a doctor like Dr. Justin. You can have a sports nutritionist. You have an endocrinologist. If you have cardiology issues in your uh, history, you can uh, you know, ask for a cardiologist to look at your, your, your data. And so you basically have the, the same entourage as a movie star, as it were. Uh, it's your time and your terms. So the way a consult works, data comes in, you have a telephone call, you're both looking at the same screen, so you don't have to schlep yourself across uh, you know, Los Angeles for an hour to go sit in a, in a uh, doctor's office for seven minutes to kind of get the thumbs up or down. This is actually a drill down going through all your markers. Uh, time, we save you time and money. Uh, you can track your progress. And then the other thing is, is that uh, we're completely HIPAA compliant. And I was one of the pioneers of internet uh, privacy and security rules in the 90s. So we take this really seriously. <laughs>